Hello, this is H.G. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Hexes Force. Since last time, I zoned in and out of here over and over and over again until I got one of these dog-type enemies to spawn on the, well, in this area. Unfortunately, I didn't get the one I wanted there that time, but I do have another one that I can try. Alright, there it is. Basically, you want one of the dog-type enemies to be to spawn here, so that way you can, well, fight a bull vault. And I think this is the only area in the game where you can meet up with them, but you can get uh, lion's fangs from them as a common drop. But in order to get it from them, you have to kill them with a fire, bolt, or void attack. So I'm not going to use earthquake on them this time. I'm going to stick with aerial sleeve, and that should do it. And then I should be able to craft the second Beast King band that I really want to get. Still have much to learn. Yes, Lion Fangs. Yes, yeah, so much easier to get now. So, okay, now that we got that, get another Beast King band. It's really good, and we'll give that one to you, so that way we can deal even more damage. Not that I really need help in that department, but well, you know what I mean. And now, what I also want to do is I want to kill the four seater that I got to spawn over here. So that way I can uh, get that achievement that I want. You know what? Let's do this one on screen. Normally I would do this one off screen, but... Not bad, not bad. Uh, yeah, we can do that. Victory yeah, you hear that out. sound? That means I've killed ten four seaters for that achievement. So, all right. And we got another achievement. Different. We got Cecilia up to level fifty there. So, wow, achievements galore. So, okay, I think that's everything we need now. Yeah, we should be good. The only problem with uh, what is it? Oh, uh, never mind. I'm thinking of something else. Okay, so, let's see, Cecilia, mm, let me give you another Blaze King, or at least make another one, because uh, we're going to need that for this boss. Let's see, okay, right? Yeah, that ought to be good. Yeah, I'm almost at max force points, but uh, I don't want to spend more of them. We'll just move on like this. Time for the final boss of the Tower of Judgment. Let's do it! For boss time! Can't we just get along? Now, as you could see from before, that this guy is the real boss. So we want to use prominence on it to strike both his elemental and aspect weakness. Yeah, look at that damn. I don't think we really need buffs for this battle, but Yamaraj does have a bit of quite a bit of HP. Of course, that's what I said about Virtus. But, well, you know what I mean. Hmm. Yeah, we should be fine. A little worried there, but uh oh, no use. Nuts. Yeah, he can go instant death there. Ow! Ow! Wow, this isn't going too well for us. Dire assault. Yeah, look at that damage. <laughs> okay, yeah, let's uh, bring Ignis back there. Excellent. I'm not going to heal up, though, because I want Dire Assault to deal more damage. Especially since I've already killed guys. him now. So, woohoo! And we get an Arnon gem for defeating him. Alright. Let's see. Uh, well, yeah, let's open this one first. But uh, there's quite a bit of treasure that we can get here. So, let's take a look at that. Let's see. I need to go here. Yeah, that's it. Okay. So, here we get the Devastator that I'm probably never going to use. Let's see. If we scan right over here... Haha! -ha, you can find a hidden treasure! Ooh, dragon horns. Useful for those Beast King bands if you didn't get those earlier from the monsters that I told you about. And I think that's it. All right. One thing I wanted to mention to you guys. Remember we got that Stigild Fragment from the Dying Youth side quest there? 
that's only one piece of the full Stigild. Uh, Levant was kind of talking about it, too. We'll, we'll learn a little bit more about that on Levant's path there. But essentially, there's six pieces to it. And uh, two of those six pieces are uh, unique. Uh, one of them can only be gotten on Levant's path. The other one can only be gotten on Cecilia's path. So the only way you can get both of them is to New Game Plus from one into the other. I'll explain what the Stigil does when we get to that point, but j just something to keep in mind with the Stigil fragments. Uh, no, I think we're good. How did I get that many quest points on destruction? I, mean, I guess it doesn't matter, but... Hmm. Oh. Well, I thought Norvia was already awake. Well, yes, he, he just has a nasty temper. So far, so good, I guess. We got the vessel tilting towards creation. Shouldn't you know? Magic the Gathering? No. No, that's another game. But anyway, now we're in phase seven. So where are we going to go now? I, I, I thought we were done. Well, let's find out. Where is she, anyway? Well, okay, now we're with her, but you know what I mean. Hey, hey, all right. I love this music. I'll be a little quiet for you guys. It kind of looks like a monolith there. Ah, I love this music. It really... <laughs> I like the look on his face. But yeah, I like... Uh... Oh, yeah. Yeah, I suppose we don't. What was I saying? Oh, yeah. Well, yeah, there's the monolith there. I was going to say I like something, but I forget. Yeah. Yeah, pretty much. So what do we do now? Oh, yeah, now I remember what I was going to say. Uh, I like the uh, music here because it really makes you feel like you're getting close to the end of the game. I love it when dungeon music does that. Oh, why haven't they destroyed this one? I thought there were only six monoliths. Now the four stone will become the Chrono Cross. Now, well, close enough. Ooh. It's a rainbow. Ooh, shiny, shiny, shiny. Where do we go now? Uh oh. Yeah, that would be a problem. We're okay. We're hexes. We can't get affected by that stuff. What's the worst that could possibly happen? Now, one thing I wanted to mention here is if you are playing on a New Game Plus... Uh, I was mentioning the Stigild Fragments. If you have the Stigild Fragment from the previous path that you played, at this point in time, you'll get it. The, the unique Stigil Fragment, that is. And thus, you'll be able to get all six Stigil Fragments. And we get all their Ragnifacts, too! Alright! So if you've already done a New Game Plus, then the levels and stats for the Ragnifacts that Levant has will already join with them ready to go. Since this is just a regular New Game, though, uh, yeah, they're pretty much down to nothing. So, oh well. Uh, let's see, I want to... Organize them like that. Okay, well, let's see what we got here. We got the Holy Cravando from him now. So, yeah, lots of new Ragnaroks. 
Okay, let's see who I want to use here. I'm going to do it a little differently than what I said in the walkthrough, just to mix things up a little bit there. Okay, so... Let's see, I... Well, let me outfit my party first. Let's, uh, take Cecilia out now. And for storyline purposes... Oops, wrong one. I want to bring in... Irene there. And let's bring in... Greek. And... Yeah, we'll go with this for now. Greek is just pretty much, flat out, the best character. So, I'll try to give everyone a little bit of showtime. Again, contrary to what my walkthrough says. Just for storyline purposes in the videos here. So, okay, so, with uh, Greek, let's see, we want the Rune Slave and the Devasti. Yeah, really nice there. Even though the Rune Slave is his Ragnifax, so to speak, he's really good with the, the Devasti there. And let's see, you'll get that. And, yeah, he's pretty much going to be my replacement for Ignis, for the most part. Now, Irene... Oh, there is one more thing I want to do with uh, crafting stuff. Let's see, we need curative orbs. So, let's see, let's craft one more of those. Awesome. And let's get a new aid cane. We're going to need that now, because the bosses are actually going to have enough HP to warrant actually using that stuff. Yeah, let's equip that on her... Holy Rhea Fault. Let's see. Where, where'd it go? Oh, there it is. Yeah. Aid Cane. Okay, that ought to be pretty good for now. I'm going to go with some force boosting equipment for now, but eventually I'll want to equip her with some more defensive equipment. Let's go with that. And let's... Oh, wait, no, I still want that. Whoops. I gotta have the Mercurio gem. Holy cow, that thing's really good. And I'm going to go with the Shine Trail. Even though that's technically Irene's Ragn effect, I like having it on uh, on Raphael there. Uh, yeah, yeah. I was thinking about giving it back to Irene, but now nah, I'll show off her Force Bursts later. Okay, so we got that. That, 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 that. Okay. Now, one thing that I do want to do is upgrade my new Ragn effects. I'm not going to do all of them right now, but I'll show you some things here. So, let's see. First things first, we gotta get all those techs there. Fortunately, all the new Ragnifax join with an attack level equal to the Holy Rhea Fault minus three. So that's really nice. And that's the big thing that I wanted to learn for the Shine Trail there. The ultimate techs on it. Get you up to 20 for now, that ought to be pretty good. And let's see, Viper Steel. Yeah, it's the only white elemental attack that ignores defense on a Ragna fact. There actually is another one that ignores defense, but it's a Spear fact there. So, okay, yeah, I'm gonna be doing a lot more upgrading, but uh, well, not right now, not yet, not yet. How are we doing? Okay, I think we're pretty good. We're all set and ready to go. Uh-oh, he's back. Well, he did say he was gonna wait up for us. At last, I, you've come. Well, can we do this without him? I mean, can we kill him? Would that be okay? I mean, would someone else just didn't hurt his force? Or... Yeah, pretty much. Oops, sorry. Because he's evil. I'm evil, I tell you, evil! The devil made me do it. Yeah, pretty much. Well, why don't you just guide us there, then? Oh. Yeah, probably. Or you could just kill them all. That works, too. I want to kill people in order to get them to work together. It doesn't sound like the best plan. Yeah. Oh, well, of course. 
So let me get this straight. We need to destroy the world to teach the world a lesson. Otherwise, they won't learn the lesson and we won't get creation. But if we just got creation in the first place, wouldn't it not matter? I think we can take you now. How bad could it possibly be? Whoa! He turned into a monster centaur thing. Nuts. But if we're not around, how can the Hour of Judgment happen? For boss time! Time for the final battle! If only things could have stayed as they were. Against the Emperor himself. Okay, first things first. With uh, Greek, we want to use his Berserk Force uh, Burst. I love this one. <laughs> I just love his battle quotes. It's over. No! Okay, so, first things first. Well, second thing, I guess. Let's get uh, a 3 0 Force on Raphael there. Thanks for the help. Okay, now, what I want to do is use Vibra Steel against him, because that'll ignore defense and hit his aspect weakness. Yeah, look at that damage. Now, let's go with Aerial Cleave. The reason why I wanted to use... Uh-oh, this could hurt. Yeah, the reason I wanted to use a Berserk and Ethereal Weapon is to get the power status, which really helps out your damage production. Now, uh, the Dark Emperor has a lot of HP, far more than any boss we've fought so far. So this is gonna be a little tough. What do you mean you don't believe? Okay, well, he's still gonna be pretty easy. But it's gonna take a little while. Okay, now you see how he does that to uh, give him some defense? Can I have access to it? Yes. Uh, we got Dispel Light, so that way we can get rid of that with the Algentaria there. So that'll help us out a bit. Although, I suppose it doesn't especially matter since we ignore defense anyway. And that really wouldn't do a whole lot anyway, but whatever. Let's see. I want to use Radiant Strike. Not that it really matters. My damage isn't going to be that good with her anyway. Man, that sounds painful. Yeah! Got it! One up for the good guys. I feel stronger. Man, look at that experience. Holy cow. Ha ha. Whoa. And he dies. Nice. Kind of good looking there. Yeah, after you beat me over the head enough times. Hmm? Uh, yeah, you were the one who's trying to kill us. Have you gone mad? I could never forget her enormous breasts. Huh. That's weird. I wonder what's going what happened to him. Well, we'll learn more about that on Levon's <laughs> path. I know I keep on saying that, viewers, but. I mean, that's the way the game works. You do stuff, stuff on one path, you're going to not know things that you wouldn't learn until the other path. So. Now, Levant's path, I think, is more interesting on the plot, but not so directly because of exclusive content. But, well, you'll see when I decide to do that.
So, well, he's dead now. What do we do? Sounds vulgar. What do they need Levant for? Well, there's only two of them. Shouldn't you have? I mean, you said you knew that, like, this has happened over and over and over again, right? Oh, they're brother and sister, huh? That would explain why she wished things could go back to the way they were before. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. Oh, tell me more. Weren't you guys working together? Fell out. <laughs> Giggity. But she's still alive. Well, what do you mean? You're the bad guy. It would be like having Darth Vader join our party. Or Golbez joining our party. Yeah, kick his ass, Greek. I know I've murdered thousands of your people, but can you let me come along with you anyway? Kind of reminds me of uh, Kane. Who also used a spear. Hmm. Well, maybe you should learn. Maybe the elves could have told you. Okay, I guess you can come with us. Why not? Now, even though this scene and pretty much the rest of the game takes place with the relatively the same on both paths. Uh, there is there are storyline differences depending on whether you're on Cecilia's or Levant's path. So it's not going to be completely the same, although pretty much the remaining bosses are the same, but well there's different storyline implications. So like I said, we'll go through them as we can. Now we got final party member with Axel himself. Woo! Got a new Ragnar pack there, too. No, I'm gonna go for a little extra length on today's episode. Why not? Let's see. One thing I want to do... Oh. Okay. Screw it. It's just one battle. I'm not worried about it. I could even heal up, but I don't want to. Okay, let's see. We got that. Yeah, we should be fine. I don't think there's anything I want to win there, is there? No. No, I think we're good. I was thinking about saving in case there's a rare drop or something I wanted to win from this guy, but no, no, we should this be fine. Will be tough. Okay, let's see. Oh, you want to use Rune Slave? Oh, I didn't even learn more abilities for it. Whoops. I was going to do that off screen, but okay, we'll go with Berserk then. Why not? Yeah, that's what I get for being a little hasty. I want to unlock the achievements before I finish off finish up for today. Let's see, let's go with Yeah guy in shot right? good. This guy doesn't have too much HP. So he should be pretty good. Hmm. Well he's probably weak to lightning, so let's go with Plasma Wave. Hmm, not bad, not bad. Get him, Greek. Yeah. <laughs> Don't mess with the Viper. Ah, I love Greek. Okay, so I think that if I've done everything correctly, that should be the final foresight in the game. Yeah, that's what I wanted. Okay, so you hear that? That means that's another achievement that we get for... Well, unlocking all the four sets in the game. There's one thing I almost forgot here. Yes, there's another treasure here. By the way, uh, there there is some treasure that you can get in that uh, seventh monolith room. 
but you have to go back through the Tower of Judgment sequence that we just went through in order to do that. So I'm going to do that off screen between episodes, but I just wanted to let you know about that. Okay, so now that we've taken care of all that, I want to, well, uh, get the achievements. And there's some pretty good rewards for these ones. So we got quite a few achievements. Let's see what we got. So, yeah, for purifying all the foresights, you get a knowledge fruit. All right, we could use that to craft another master gem. Excuse me. Let me see, do I have enough? Yeah, let's do that. Why not? I could craft another one even, too, if I wanted to, but yeah, I think two should be enough. Oh. So let's see, which one is this? Oh yeah, this is, if you get up to level 50, you get the encyclopedia, which unlocks the item section in the extras mode on the title screen there, so that's really nice there. And for defeating 10 force points, or force eaters, you get the Sorel gem, which unlocks a hidden battle at the arena, but you can't do that right now. But at least we got it already, so. Well, I'm making myself useful. Okay, so I think that's everything we can do here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to start uh, upgrading my Ragnifax here. Uh, one of the reasons why I'm going down here is because I want to cook some recipes, which can be converted into a lot of force points. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to fast forward for all that stuff. And if you want to watch it, great. If not, well, then that's pretty much all I'm going to do here today. But what can we do now that we have all nine characters in our party? Find out next time on Let's Play Hexes Force. This is H.G. Bailey. Signing off. Have a good day. Okay, so thanks for guys for sticking around. What I'm doing here now is I'm going to max out as many Ragnifax as I can. Got the Rune Slave there, wanted to learn all of its techs. And everything else I'm pretty much going to dump into Resonance for various Ragnifax. Like the Necrozoar there the Grantain there, and then now we can finally start converting all that stuff into Force Points. All those Force Crystals there. Max out the Algentaria there. And let's see, do what I can with the Devasti. Make another Master Gem there. Convert the rest. And now I want to convert all, well, make all my Narcissus into Eden Novas to get a whole bunch of Force Points there. Max out the Devasti, that'll be pretty good for us. Now, the other way that I want to make more Eden Novas is by making a whole bunch of life orbs and then converting them, or making them, or fusing them into more Eden Novas. You can also make some more of those necklaces, like the Vitality one there, and convert them into Force Points. You can also make more orbs of Wisdom, convert those into Force Points. So yeah, we're getting a lot of stuff done here. Let's convert some of my old spear effects too while we're at it. Get rid of everything that I'm not gonna use for a while. Orbs of Hope is pretty much the only thing I really wanna hold on to. Convert most of my old armor there. I wanna hold on to the prism specs there. And there's one more thing. We can also make uh, experience gems and convert those into force points. So that's pretty good there too. Another thing I want to do is make some, or cook some recipes. Okay, I've cooked a whole bunch of recipes off screen there. So now that we've done that, I've cooked everything we can and I want to convert all those into force points because well, those are pretty good for that. So that's another way you can get a lot of force points. Let's get some more uh, resonance for the Rune Slave and the Shine Trail, and that ought to be good. So that's pretty much what I'm doing with my Ragnavax there. If you have any questions, let me know. Thanks a lot. Have a good day.